Thanks for watching. My name is Justin with Learning Technology, and today we're going to be giving the top four tips about how to make Siri work for you. And just briefly before we get into that, to help support my channel, please read the description after you're done watching. There is an Amazon affiliate link, which when you uh, use that to make your purchases, it helps support the channel. If you wish it to donate directly, there's a link that takes you to PayPal where you can donate if you appreciated this and all have future videos to help in the future also. Oh, so to dig right into it, let's get right into tip number one. Tip number one, the reason why I put it as number one is because this is the most important tip that I could ever give you about how to use Siri effectively, which is to hold down the button that invokes Siri, start speaking, and then after you're done, let go of the button. Because what do people do for 98% of the time? They'll hold down the button, let go, start talking, and they expect Siri to listen for the next hour. That does not happen. Let's just give that a brief try. I'm going to start, uh, try to talk right now, but I don't know how long it's going to really listen. So it started to hear me and then eventually it, it just stopped because I wasn't speaking fluently and I wasn't speaking consistently. If you give a pause, even for just a second, it's going to stop listening and it will invoke frustration for you. So hold down the button with the iPhone 10 and above. It'll be the side button on the right hand side of your phone on the side of the phone. Any other device for right now, it's the home button that you press with your finger on the bottom of your device. You're going to hold it down and then let go only when you're done talking. Uh, let's give that a try because this is actually fascinating. I'm going to hold this down. And I won't let go until I'm done. What is the weather forecast in San Diego, California, tomorrow? Now I just let go. You can pause and pause and pause as long as you speak correctly and the keywords are there. That's wonderful. Hold down the button. Tip number two. This work is a little more specific. It's going to help you though even further. Speak only keywords and thoughts. Don't ramble or add non-relevant words into your uh, command or your question. If you add erroneous extra thoughts, thinking, full sentences, this is not grade school and you're not being judged by your teacher. K keywords. Even just two keywords can give you the exact same answer compared to a complete sentence. And the more you add words, the less likely that Siri is going to understand what you're really wanting to, to uh, say or to ask. So let's give another example. I can ask a full question in a complete sentence. Let's give it a try. Yesterday, what was the Seattle Mariners baseball game score? Okay, so that was about nine words, possibly ten. And it understood the keywords. Seattle Mariners baseball game score. But you can actually shrink it down. Remember, keywords. You can go down to just two words. And it will still know the same thing. Let's give it a try. Mariners score. Not only does it save time, but it increases the probability of Siri understanding what you're saying. Use keywords, shorten keywords, and even non-sentences. It's going to help you out tremendously. Tip number three. Start out by learning what's most important to you. Those commands. Text messaging, weather inquiries, you know, reminders, sports, whatever, whatever matters most to you. A lot of people do text messaging. So I'm going to show you two different ways that you can do text messaging. And they both work very efficiently for me. So let's give it a try. Text Bob. 
How are you doing today? Question mark. Yes. And the text message flies off. But Siri is smart enough that if you actually add in both commands at the same time, both thoughts, it will spit out the exact same result. So watch this. Text Bob, how are you doing today? Question mark. Yes. So by saying text, the name of the person, your message, letting go, it will actually formulate and prepare it and send it, which is probably at least 10 times faster than pulling out the app, your keyboard, etc. Tip number four is kind of the neatest tip, actually. You can actually see an entire comprehensive list of categories and subcategories of what Siri can do for you right on your phone or your iPad. So all you have to do, hold down Siri, purposefully let go of the button, don't say anything. Watch this. So based on the idea that your phone thinks that you don't really know what to do, it's going to go, hey, here's some ideas about what you can do and what you should say. And it organizes it usually by app or by subject sometimes. Calendar, inquiries, map directions, playing your music, the weather we've looked at, even settings you can turn off and on, Bluetooth and airplane mode. You can Google things just by your voice. So if we go into, again, a common thing of text messaging, notice the different phrases, names. You can even text by phone number. Uh, look at the bottom. It, it even says text Brian and Emily, where are you? That automatically creates a group text message between the three of you. You can tap the back button on the right um, side on the upper left-hand corner and get right back to that same area. Hit the home icon to get back to the main screen. Hopefully that's been of some help to you. I'm going to continue making these videos to have some relevance and help and to give back to this community in, in YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. And also, if you have any questions, please ask them below and I'll do my absolute best to assist you. You can also like the video and subscribe to my channel for future updates. Thanks for watching.